YouTube, what's going on? It's KC the GOAT for Vernon Speak Sports. We're talking Auburn football like nobody's business. There have been some recent developments for the Auburn Tigers. Let's go ahead and get this comment section active. Go ahead and subscribe to Vernon Speaks Auburn War Eagle. Once again, man, let's go ahead and get this comment section active. Been a lot of opinions going on, especially as it relates to recruiting for the Auburn Tigers. Auburn just recently picked up on Zach Farrar out of Youngstown State. He was the former Oklahoma commit, went to junior college, then came to Youngstown State. Had 51 catches for about 307 yards. And, you know, a lot of folks may be wondering, well, why is Auburn still recruiting wide receivers and trying to, you know, kind of take advantage of the transfer portal as it relates to receivers? But if we remember signing day 2019, Auburn had a longtime commit, George Pickens, a former five star wide receiver out of Hoover, Alabama that everyone projected to come to Auburn, but within the last couple of weeks of his recruitment, things started to get real shaky as his recruitment goes. Because as a matter of fact, I actually called the flip because, you know, it was a lot of anxiety, especially among the fan base, as to whether he was going to actually commit to Auburn or not. Wound up flipping from Auburn to Georgia. Now, if you think about the, the size of the the uh transfers that Auburn was actually going after, usually around 6'1", 6'2", around the same size that George Pickens was. Losing Pickens was a huge loss for the Auburn Tigers because he was probably going to have an immediate impact in the receiving core for the Auburn Tigers. Very uh, good receiver, uh, had a lot of size, had a lot of range, uh, very good hands, a very elite wide receiver. So that's probably why when you look at, you know, the fact that Auburn is continuing to get real aggressive in this transfer portal to to have a sizable wide receiver, the uh, comment was even made that, you know, Auburn should have gone for a big receiver. Hell, they did. But the receiver flipped on signing day. Now, when you look at a guy like we said before in Zach Farrar, he's a uh, very good size, probably obviously not as an elite as George Pickens will wind up being. But that's more than likely the reasoning behind the aggression. You know, they went after uh, Velas Jones from USC. And, uh, you know, it's just been, uh, you know, trying to recover uh, from this recruiting class. Also um, had some very unfortunate things to happen in the recruiting process. Um, Auburn also had all but a decommit from uh, wide receiver Cameron Kelly out of Chesapeake, Virginia, who was going to help to add some depth to the secondary, but he wound up going to North Carolina, citing some family type issues. So that's the reason that Auburn is actually going after these guys, trying to get some size in that receiver position. Now, some of you all may say, well, you know, this doesn't make sense. You know, you got plenty of receivers there, but you just don't have that size that you want at the moment, especially after George Pickens decommitted from Auburn. Also, Auburn has a lot of work to do on the, the recruiting trail as, you know, players are decommitting. And largely because right now, I, in my honest opinion, the perception of Auburn as a program right now, very sketchy at best, you know, not having a firm identity as to where the offense is going to go. We know what the Gus Malzahn called offense looks like, but that's been a few years since that has been, you know, a, a thing for Auburn. Now, we got a small sample size in the Purdue game, but of course, one game is not going to be enough to manage recruits perception of the Auburn Tigers. So I'll leave you with this on a Sunday afternoon. You know, Auburn definitely has a long way to go. There will be a follow up video to this particular one talking about how Auburn can possibly win 10 games this particular year definitely well within um, reach but a lot of great things has, have to happen for the Auburn Tigers considering their schedule and things of that nature all right fearless and true gang go ahead and give me your opinion as to why you think Auburn is continuing to go after receivers even though it seems as such right at the surface that Auburn has plenty of receivers in place 
Once again, it's Case Stu the Goat for Vernon Speak Sports. We're talking Auburn football like nobody's business. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports. We're going to be talking about Auburn football pretty much from here on out. Uh, if you want, have a topic in the comment section that you want us to talk about and to generate some conversation about Auburn football, we can do it. All right, guys, until next time, War Eagle.